Hey Jetty Rockers, welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing. Well tonight we're going to be doing something I've been wanting to do for a while. We're going to be doing another catch and cook and we're going to be doing the gaff top sail cat. I know, I know. Some of you guys are saying, what? Nuh-uh, ain't no way. But I'm telling you, if you do this fish right, you would think you're eating something offshore. I'm not kidding you. It's, in my opinion, is way better than redfish. It's 10 times better than any redfish I've ever eaten. It's just as good, if not better, than freshwater catfish. And it's absolutely phenomenal if you do it right. But you got to do it right. If you leave that bloodline on a sail cat, it tastes nasty. It is no good. It tastes muddy. It tastes fishy. It's not good at all. But you take that bloodline out, all that red meat, and that fish is phenomenal. And I'm not even kidding you. But real quick, guys, once you watch this clip of Amber catching this really cool, a really big sail cat we caught the other day when we were out trout fishing. And also in this video, I'm going to have a couple bonus clips for y'all inside the video. So st stay tuned for those clips. And right now, guys, check out this clip of Amber. Then I will see you at the cleaning table. And I'll see you in the kitchen. <laughs> Get on. That is a stud sail cat. Catch enough, that's enough. Arrgh. Wow, that is a big sail cat. Holy cow. <laughs> it's bigger than Co mine's the last time. Yeah, go ahead and release your bail, baby. Oh man, that's a big old sail cat. Jeez. We'll keep that. Oh man. We will keep that one. thing all right and we are actually going to keep them because they are pretty good eating they are not a bad eating fish at all if you have not tried sail cats you really should give them a shot pretty good nice all slimed up now yeah there you go you. all right guys well we got some big old sail cats here this is the one Amber got. This is a nice one right here. And a couple other really good ones here. We're going to go ahead and show you how to clean a sail cat, which is super easy. And I actually really like sail cats. I think they're just as good, if not better, than freshwater cats. And I'd rather take a sail cat over redfish any day. I like redfish. I'll keep redfish. But I like these actually a little bit better. So as you can see, see this rib cage right here? I'm just going to go right above it. I'm going to make an incision. You're going to come straight down that rib cage, just like that. All the way down. Stick in here. Stick your knife sideways. And you're just going to go along that backbone. Just like that. Same thing over here. Just along that rib cage right there. My knife's getting dull. I cleaned some sharks the other day. 
turn it sideways. Just go along that backbone. All right. There you go. And believe it or not, there's really much, not much left up in here. So that's pretty much all of it. Discard the rest. Try to leave as much of that red meat on that skin as you can. There we go. That's perfect. That's exactly what you want to see. Just like that. You have no red meat on the flay up here. You just have this right down the center. And you just take your knife, cut that out. You have a nice clean piece of meat, just like that. And that right there is better than any red fish you could give me. That is really good. It's just as good or better as freshwater. I'm actually gonna go ahead and say it's better than freshwater channel cats. This is actually really good. Go ahead and do that on the other side here. Just take your time with it guys and get a really nice good piece of meat. There you go guys. Beautiful. Alright guys, we'll go ahead and see you in the kitchen. Alright guys, we're in the kitchen. And I got my uh, sail cat fillets here. And what I'm going to do is just going to cut them into little chunks. I'm going to try to get as much of this red meat off as I can. Because that is what makes catfish taste bad. Or any fish for that matter is that bloodline so that's a pretty good clean piece right there clean this one up a little bit it cleans up pretty good guys pretty easy just got to take a little time with it and that's it pretty good and what i do with all these little pieces here is i feed my little stray cats that I have around the house I feed them that so I'm gonna get all these cut up right here guys and then we'll start breading them up you look good all right guys so I got all my fish ready you guys gotta admit that meat looks really good y'all and it is absolutely outstanding so what we got here I have a bowl of my favorite fish breading which is House Autry Seafood uh, Breading Mix. I absolutely love this stuff. You've seen it in a lot of my videos. Absolutely love it. And what we're going to do, guys, we're just going to do some simple southern style fried catfish. And Sail Cat is excellent, guys. Absolutely phenomenal. So what we're going to do, we're just going to bread them just like this. Super easy. And then I'm going to heat my oil up to 375 degrees. Wait for my green light to come on, and we'll be able to fry some fish. And this stuff is awesome. I mean, I don't. People say that sail cats are no good. They haven't done it right. That's all I got to say on that. Because if you do this right, it is outstanding. They are actually a really good eating fish. They're a fun fighting fish. Now, I don't go out and actually target sail cats, but if I catch them, I'm happy. All right, well, I'm going to get the rest of these breaded. We'll be ready to fry some fish. All right, guys, well, I got my fish all breaded. My sail cat. It looks awesome. Now I just got to wait to get the green light on the uh, fryer. We'll be ready to cook some fish. But in the meantime, why don't you guys check out these two clips that we went out fishing the other day, me, Amber, and Summer. And Summer caught a really cool little, about a three and a half foot, four foot spinner shark, and she caught a sail cat. So you guys watch these clips real quick and hopefully that green light will be on. All right. I have a strong oh, feeling it's no, that shark. is a nice fish. That is a nice fish. Holy cow, Summer, don't horse them too much. Golly, what is that? If that's a trout, Summer, that is a big trout. It's a big trout. Is it a trout? Yes, it's a big trout. Okay, bring him over here, Summer, bring him over here. 
No, it's a shark. I told you it was a shark. I can tell a shark when I get a shark. It is a shark. I told you to get tangled with the line. I'm sorry. It is a shark. What kind of shark is it? I'll tell you in a minute. I know a shark when I get a shark. That run with. Is that a bull shark? No, it's not a bull shark. Oh, I want to take a picture of the sharky. That is. Oh, I got to look at him. It's not a shark nose. It's not a black tip either. I think that's a spinner. I told you I it's, it's a, a little spinner. Yeah, I think it's a little spinner. Oh my god! You have to let him go. He definitely big enough to keep. Picture? Yeah, you'll take a picture with him. I told you it was a shark. You said that's a big trout. Yeah, a little, that ain't a big trout. I think that's a little spinner. All right, let me get a hold of it. Yeah. Ignore the spine. Looks like a little hook is right there. It's got no, uh, sure it's not a bull shark. no, it ain't bull shark. It's a little black nose. It's a little black nose. Look, see, there's his black nose. I okay. don't want his teeth bitten. Wow, got a different coloration back up in here. All right, uh, grab a, I thought it was at first. Wow, shark up in here. No! There we go. I did, we weren't going to keep him anyway, but. I was going to take pictures. Well, he had other ideas. Fish. Oh. All right. Summer ain't got a shark, I'll tell you that. No, you ain't got a shark this time. You probably got a sail cat. I'd to take a guess. Might be a trout, but I'm going to say a sail cat. I'm going to say it's a saily. Big old, that's Ooh. a big old sail cat. That's a giant seal cat. Oh, really? He's big. Look at that stud. Look at his mouth. Holy fish. moly. God, that's a big seal cat. Oh, my God. Man, I'll get you another one. Golly. <laughs> oh, look at that stud. There are some big ones here, big man. I'll get it. Grab me the pliers somewhere. Ow. Measure it. I want to see how big my is. <laughs> He's a big one. He is a big one. He's a big one. 21 and a half, 21 inches. Yeah. I'll keep this one. That's a big one. Nice one, baby. All right, guys, well, we're back. We got our green light. That was a pretty cool little clip, wasn't it? I mean, I wasn't 100% sure at first if it was a spinner shark, but after looking at it and after thinking about it and looking at some pictures online, I'm 100% sure it was a spinner shark. They're a little bit hard to identify when they're younger, when they're small like that, but... Without a doubt, that was a spinner. And a little bit later in the day, Amber hooked one also, but we lost it. So now we are sitting here frying our fish. I'll put a few in here. As you can see, as it sits for a little bit, it gets really sticky, but that is exactly what you want. That makes it really, really crispy. I think that's good for the first batch. All right. All right, let's let those cook. All righty, our first batch is looking awesome. Matter of fact, I think they're done. They're nice and golden brown. So we'll put those over here on some paper towel. And we'll get our second batch going. All righty. And I cook my fish at uh, 375 degrees, and it takes about, putting about 10 or 12 in there, it takes about three, four minutes, five minutes up tops to have them done. And they turn out really good, guys. I'm going to go ahead and put all of these in here. All of them. There we go. While that batch is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and put some sea salt 
on my fish. And salt them right when they come out of the fryer. And I, it's awesome. It adheres to the fish. It is incredible. And they are nice and crispy. Man, I cannot wait to eat these at all. All right, well, the last batch is out. I got some onion rings in here cooking now. So I'm going to go ahead and get this plated up, and I will see you guys on the couch. All right, guys. Well, my onion rings are still cooking, so I'm just going to go ahead and eat the fish here. Here's my sail cat. So you guys will look at that. Look at that, guys. Woo-wee. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm telling y'all, seriously, no bull crap, guys. If you do this right, if you take all the bloodline out of this catfish, it is as good, if not better, than freshwater catfish. And it is, in my opinion, one of your better fish. It really is. It, it, no joke. I would pay to eat that in a restaurant. Well, no problem. It is that doggone good. I mean, look how white that is. It is just fantastic. I got a cat bothering me. In my opinion, this is better than redfish. I'm not a big redfish fan. A lot of you know that already. I will eat it. I like it all right. It's pretty good. You know, it's fried, blackened. It's okay. But it is not one of my favorite fish by any means. This is way ahead of that. Way ahead of it. There's Murphy, everybody. There's my cat, Murphy. It's just an outstanding fish, guys. I hope some of y'all try it. If you catch one, make sure you get that bloodline out and deep fry it like this, guys. You will not be disappointed. I promise you. I give you my word on that. This is a really good fish. It really is. I just wish I had more for tonight. I really do. That is awesome. Well, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'm doing this catch and cook video. I hope you guys enjoyed the bonus clips of Summer catching the shark and the other little seal cat. And until I get to see you guys again soon here on the water, y'all, tight lines, Jetty Rockers, thank you so much for your thumbs up. Thank you so much for your comments. And thank you so much for y'all's views and just being a part of this channel. We'll be seeing y'all real soon. Hey, Jerry Rockers. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'd like to invite you all to go follow me on my Facebook page at Jetty Rocks Fishing and also my Instagram page. I also have a JRF apparel page, which will send you a link to my Teespring page where I have some cool shirts and some mugs. I appreciate you guys very much. Go check out the description in the bottom of this video. I'll have the links. Tight lines, Jetty Rockers.